Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all enjoying your week so far. I have an awesome haul to share with you guys today. The last few weeks, my Dollar Tree has just been um, pretty slow to put out new things, but I was really excited because I found a bunch of new stuff last night. And so I can't wait to share this haul with you guys. Also, we're in my dining room right now. Um, I was looking for a quiet space to film. Both of my kids are at home for summer break from school. And I know a lot of you wanted to actually see how I decorated with the whole lemon and bee theme that I keep talking about. Well, here's some of it. I know this is a really weird angle. I've been actually playing around with my little tripod here and like no matter what I do, I look crooked or the, the angle looks crooked. So we're just gonna roll with it. But at the end of the video, I will do like, I guess a little walkthrough of how I decorated my dining room because this is only like one part of it. And I know you can't really see it well because I'm blocking it. But let's go ahead and get into this haul. I'm gonna start off with my favorite finds that I found so far this week. And I didn't think I was gonna find these. I've been seeing them all over different haul channels, but I was like, there's no way I'm gonna find that. There's no way, and I did. I found the Happy Planner stickers, you guys. And these are sold at Michael's, usually for around, I think like $19.99. Of course, don't ever pay full price for these. Use a coupon. Um, but I think the least amount that I've ever paid with a coupon for one of these Happy Planner sticker books has been around like $6. And I think that's like during like the President's Day sale, if I'm not mistaken. But I found them and I also got two extras because I'm doing a flash giveaway for one of you guys. Um, for Friday's haul, I'm going to announce that. So all you have to do if you want to um, be entered in that drawing is just be subscribed to my channel and post a comment down below. It can be anything because I'm going to be using a random name generator on a Friday morning before that haul. And then I'm going to just copy and paste the comments into that random name picker. So I'm gonna include one of each of the books that I found and then some extra little um, planner supply goodies in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of flip through these really quick. Can't go through all of them, but this is the seasonal sticker book pack. And this one you get over 1500 stickers in. So there's like summer seasons, like I guess all of the seasons, but the, my favorites, are the Halloween stickers, the Halloween and Christmas. These are so good. I still can't believe I found these. And I actually was like considering buying the entire box of each of these, but then I, it, that just didn't sit well with me um, to give away to you guys on this channel. Um, but I decided just to do one giveaway because I, or I really wanna give the people in my area a chance, that live in my area, a chance to find these because I know a lot of people are looking for them. So I decided just to get one, but this is the watercolor set. I forgot to show you guys the cover. Here is the watercolor sticker set. You get over a thousand in here. So these are just an amazing score. I still can't believe. I found these and I actually found these in the jot section. So they were hiding on like the middle shelf kind of back. I actually pulled the box out so other people could find them. So again, if you want to be entered in that little giveaway, just comment something down below and be subscribed to my channel. And I will announce the winner on Friday um, during that Dollar Tree haul. And then I found some more little planner supplies in the jot or office supply section. I found these cute little paper clips. So these ones are gold and have tassels on them. And then these have little pom poms. So how cute are these? And then I also picked up a second set to put in that little giveaway for the planner goodies. And in that same office supply or jot section, I found 
this cute notepad set. There's two different notepads in here. They had a few different designs, but I just picked out this one because I like the whole plant theme. And this is by Three Birds Design. I've never seen this brand at the Dollar Tree. Usually I see like Crown Jewels or the Jot brand. So I picked up that. And then I also found some new file folders. Each of these are a three pack. So I found this really beautiful print. Usually when they do designs like this, they also do like the file folder hold holders file folder holders um, as well in like the same design and I've also seen this on the stationery. So they will use the same print over and over again but I like to use these not only to like organize my paperwork but also to use in my journals or if I'm doing like a folio or some sort of paper craft like this one. This whole celestial theme I have some like Zodiac uh, cardstock and a bunch of stuff. So I think I want to make like a whole Zodiac themed journal. So I would just like cut these and use that. And then I found this lemon print. So beautiful. Just a couple more things from that whole section. I picked up some of these clip click pens. These are eight ballpoint style pens in assorted colors and I'm going to throw this in that giveaway as well and I found a new cookbook in the book section this is by cooking light dinner time survival guide feed your family and save your sanity <laughs> I just thought that was pretty funny so it says you can get a healthy meal on the table and it looks like it's just a bunch of like healthy alternatives to, I guess, popular dishes. Like this is spinach, meatballs, and spaghetti, which is honestly like my favorite style of cooking is just finding a healthier alternative to cooking. Like, look how good that looks, chicken piccata. And I've said it before, I love when cookbooks have the picture of what you'll be making in there pork tenderloin with mushroom sauce and so yeah this looks really yummy peanutty stir fry love that so this originally retailed for $24.95 US $27.95 Canada and it's at Dollar Tree or at least my Dollar Tree it was at for one dollar so I picked that up now let's move along to a couple of new stickers that I found. I actually found these on a clip strip at the front of the store. These are not typically the style that I like to use in my journals because they're puffy, but I did pick these up for my daughter, but they're so cute, you guys. This whole leopard situation with the plants is so in right now and it's the cutest thing. And I'm actually wearing a deaf leopard shirt the leopards on them i just think it's so cute and then the plants so i picked up those for my daughter and then i picked these ones up for her as well and there was another one that it was like similar to this that was just all cats i think it was all cats so i picked up those in the beauty section i found the cutest little cosmetic bags you guys look at these I, I think i bought doubles on accident of the same one i did but these are the four different little sequ color changing sequin bags that i found so this one's pink to silver this one has like the mermaid rainbow to silver this one's blue to silver and then rose gold like how gorgeous are these and they come with a little keychain as well and i'm gonna kind of go off on like a little side i guess story or side note i don't know how to say that but i get asked quite a bit what i do with all of the things that i haul so i thought i'd use this as an opportunity <laughs> to kind of tell you guys what i do with all of this stuff that i'm picking up every week at dollar tree 
and I don't keep a lot of it. I really don't. I don't have the space for it. I have a three bedroom house. I don't have a craft room. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a craft space in my bedroom where I'm able to store some of like my crafting items. And then I have like a small linen closet in my bedroom that I store a lot of my crafting supplies as well. But I do have a linen closet in my hallway that has linens in it. But honestly, you guys, I can't keep all of these things that I haul. I really can't. I don't have the space for it and I don't need all of these things. Like I don't need all of these. So what I do is I show it to you guys and then a lot of the times I will donate it, whether it be to my friends or family or to a school or to my local buy nothing groups, like all of those gift baskets that I did for Christmas. I did all like the DIYs. I donated all of those baskets to um, my local buy nothing page for Christmas on Facebook. So, and I'm not saying that to be like, oh my gosh, look at how much I donate. I'm not saying that I'm saying <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you guys because I get a lot of questions like where do you keep all this stuff why do you need all this stuff and I don't I don't keep probably 60% of it 60 70% of it I give it away um I keep a lot of the crafting things just because that's what my channel is about it's about Dollar Tree hauls and crafting so I use a lot of those supplies but even then, I donate a lot of those. If I haven't used, if something has been sitting in my craft closet for long enough, I'll donate that as well. I'll donate it. Actually, I just gave like four bins to my um, sister-in-law of crafting items because she just moved and she was putting together her craft room and needed some crafting supplies. So I just don't have room to, to store all of these things that I haul and I really don't need them. And I'm not losing any money. Um, doing these hauls because thanks to you guys, I earned that money back that I spent um, by posting the haul video because I do earn ad revenue um, for ads that are run on my channel. So I'm very thankful for that because without you guys watching my videos, I wouldn't be able to donate items or give them away again to friends, family, um, different organizations and I also have like this like storage system or like this rack in my garage where I store a lot of my seasonal decor I have them organized in different like tote bins so all the little pumpkins and Christmas ornaments and things that I haul from Dollar Tree if I'm gonna use it for the next season I'll put it in those seasonal bins in my garage but yeah for the most part I don't keep a lot of the things that I haul I simply don't have space for it and I don't need this much stuff. Um, so again, I do donate it, whether it be to friends, family, um, schools, people in my local community. Um, that's what I do with a lot of the things that I haul. So I hope that answers your questions for the people that have been curious of how I store all of these. If you want to see how I organize like my craft space in my bedroom, it's a small area. If there's enough interest, I'll do a video on that. Um, but yeah, let's continue with this haul. I found the coolest little vase. I've never seen this before at Dollar Tree. It has like this swirl around it. When I saw this, I immediately thought of like Halloween, spray painting this and making it look like this cool like potion bottle looking thing for like my little apothecary potion set for decor. I only saw it in blue, but I'm sure there's other colors that are out there. I'm thinking maybe a red as well. And there's a fly, I'll be right back. In the very front of my store, they put out a display of the new dishes or the new prints for the dishes. And look how beautiful this is. Now I think they've had a print very, very similar to this, but I think it was like more paisley style. This is that really beautiful blue floral print. Now, I will say that for some reason, the shape of these look a little bit misshapen, like there is some flaws, but I still think it's very beautiful. I picked up two of the bowls. I don't need a whole um, place setting um, for these dishes. I have enough 
Dollar Tree dishes in my um, cabinets, but I just thought of using these for like decorative purposes, maybe to like decorate um, these shelves on my coffee bar. So I picked up two of the bowls and then one of the bread plates. This is so pretty. The, there's a style or the name of the style to this and I can't think of the name. It's called something. Let me know in the comments, but I just think these are so beautiful. And here's the dinner plate. So maybe to put them on display like this and then have the bowls sitting in front would be really pretty. So I picked up those and then I also found the kitchen towel. And this is that weird feeling microfiber towel. Not my favorite, but just for decorative purposes, this would look really pretty. And then I also got the dish drying mat. They also had the pot holders and oven mitt glove as well. I passed on those, I don't need them, but picked up that. I found these beautiful glittered ribbons. And I actually found these in the party section on a bottom shelf. I didn't find these in like the crafting section where you would normally find all of the ribbon. I found these in the party section, which I thought was interesting. But look at how gorgeous these are. This green or emerald and gold is my favorite. You don't get a lot in here. You only get 1.67 yards but still a really beautiful ribbon to have on hand just to add details to craft. So I picked up those. I picked up a bunch of new jigsaw puzzles in the toy section. Jigsaw puzzles and adult coloring books are the two things that I like to do to relax and kind of just unwind. And I usually like jigsaw puzzles that have like a thousand pieces, a thousand or more. Um, but it's just not practical for me to have a jigsaw puzzle on my dining room table for a week and then occasionally work on it. I don't have that kind of time. So I started buying the 350 um, piece jigsaw puzzles, but look at how fun this one looks. This has like all of these milkshakes on it and I like jigsaw puzzles that have a lot of colors and a lot of things going on um, those that's the style I typically like so the more colors the brighter it is the more I want to do it and these I feel like I could probably get done while watching a movie so I know they have the 500 piece as well at Dollar Tree but I think 350 is practical for me to be able to complete and not leave out on the table for too long. Because I do have kids and dogs, things get knocked off the table. So I love this one, this little outdoor restaurant scene. We have some cupcakes. And these puzzles are not like the best quality, like you're gonna see in like what the Roth, Rothenberger puzzles, but I mean, they're fine for a dollar. You can still put together a really pretty puzzle, but the like quality of the cut is not perfect. And then this one I think would be fun for 4th of July. And then I think this one is my favorite. It has all of this food on the table. Just look at all of these really beautiful colors on here. Some fajitas some ceviche, some salsas. I just love, love this one. And then this one was different. I decided to give this one a try. This is by Kodiak, I think. Why did I say Kodiak? Who remember <laughs> the disposable cameras? I think the colors just reminded me of Kodiak film, but this is crazy art. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is a two-in-one puzzle. So one puzzle is 100 pieces and the other is 250. But again, I love all of the bright colors, lots of things going on. And then this little village looks really fun as well. So I picked up that and I also got my daughter a few puzzles as well. We worked on two of them last night. We were watching Lilo and Stitch. And one of the puzzles that we worked on was a Dr. Seuss puzzle. 
This one is, is this green eggs and ham? Yeah, this is the green eggs and ham. We did Horton Here's a Who. That was the one that we did last night. And then we did like a Disney princess puzzle. So lots of fun puzzles. In the food section, I found these Sonic pops or like freezer pops, kind of like otter pops. You get ocean water and cherry limeade. You get 10 bars, so I'm assuming five of each. Um, I'm not the biggest Sonic fan when it comes to their food. If you are, don't come for me in the comments. But I do like their cherry limeade slushy. Um, that's like the one thing that I do like from Sonic, but their food, not, not the biggest fan. But I did pick those up, be a fun summer treat. And I've been trying really hard not to have too much sugar um, and cut back on that, but it's been very difficult and I'm kind of burnt out <laughs> on not having sugar. So I picked myself up some red vines. This is my favorite, like watching a movie candy or like movie theater candy. So I picked up some red vines and it's not terrible. I mean, three twists. 100 calories, 12 grams, 12 grams of sugar. I mean, I'm not gonna eat just three. I'm not, not that, not that good with the willpower, but picked up those. And then I picked up these trolley sour watermelon sharks because shark week's coming up. So I picked up those. I'm a little disappointed with how they chose to do the eyeglass holders or the sunglasses holders this year because they did like these fabric pockets. In previous years, they've done the eyeglass holders with the clasps on the top that you can kind of squish together and it opens and closes. And this is what they came out with this year, but I still picked them up because they're really cute. You could also use these to organize like power cords or your Cricut tools. That's what I do with mine. So I found the cactus one, which is my favorite. Then I found flamingos and some fruits. They also had a unicorn one as well, but I just picked up these. And again, you can use them not just for your sunglasses or eyeglasses. You could, I don't even think you could fit sunglasses in here because the opening is pretty narrow maybe just some reading glasses in there. So picked those up. I found the cutest new, what do you call these? Warmers, scent warmers. Look at this and it looks like there's a little chip right there. Um, but it has like this celestial theme going on. They also have this in white. The color is coming off on camera, like it's gray, but it's a like, grayish blue color. I just thought this was really pretty. Picked that up in the candle section. Also in that candle section on a clip strip, I found the funniest magnet. And this actually used to be a meme because I've shared this meme on my Facebook so many times. Every snack you make, every meal you bake, every bite you take, I'll be watching you. <laughs> With the little dog on it. The meme is of this dog poking its head over the couch with this quote on it. And I just thought this was so cute, that Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's paying attention to memes too. I thought that was pretty funny. So I picked up that. In the cleaning section, I got some Arm & Hammer carpet odor um, powder. I know this is not like great for your vacuum cleaner, but listen, I have three dogs, three kids. My carpets sometimes don't smell the best. I actually don't have like carpets. I have a very big area rug in my living room. So that's what I mean when I say carpets. I'm gonna put this on there or in the carpet and then vacuum it up. This is Island Mist. And then I found this limited edition Bamboo Bliss Glade room air freshener. And if I can remember correctly, I sprayed, <laughs> I sprayed it in the store and then tried to smell it with my mask on and felt like a dork. Mm. You definitely smell like the water lily in this. I don't think bamboo has a scent, but you definitely smell the water lily in this. It smells really good. So picked up that. 
And the last few items I found, I picked up these loofahs on the bamboo handle. I found one, was it a month ago, a month or two ago? And I only found one and I was saying, I hope they come out with like, or I can find more. And I did. These are so good, you guys. I still have the one in my shower that I'm using. And of course there's going to be mold after a while on wood um, getting wet. So you would need to replace these, but I think these would be a good like gift basket item for sure. So that's what I'm going to be doing with these is making gift baskets. And then the last few items I got were graduation items. I only picked up a couple in that section. They're starting to switch things out. But I did pick up these paper lanterns. They're, they come two to a pack. So there is black. And these I think are eight inches. Yeah, eight, eight inches. So I found black and then gray. And then I did pick up a congrats to the graduate 2021 banner because my husband will be graduating in August, August or September. So I want to throw him like a little graduation barbecue. So I thought it'd be cute to decorate. And then I'll probably get like black and silver balloons to kind of match that. All right, guys. So that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you aren't currently subscribed, I hope you'll click that subscribe button before you leave because I post new hauls every Tuesday and Friday. Also, don't forget if you want to be entered in that little giveaway to leave a comment down below. Um, and I will announce the winner on Friday. Until my next video, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and watching and have a good one.